Hey guys, welcome back to Germ's Workshop. So I got this Nova G3 Chuck last year for Christmas, and uh, it wasn't the right thread. The internal thread on it wasn't correct for the Craftsman lathe that I've been using. Um, the lathe has a 3 quarter by 16 thread, and the Chuck has a 1 inch by 8 thread. So we had to make an adapter. I used to use this old spur gear and no big deal it works really well for most things but there's sometimes when you want to make a bowl or a cup or something like that that you need to grip the outside of the base of it or the inside of something um, these old spur uh, tools they work really well for what they are but the four jaw chuck is just a really great addition for the woodworker on the lathe so um, we had a piece of two inch case hardened steel that was from, I believe, from some kind of axle or something. Um, this stuff is incredibly hard. It took forever just to cut off the blank to put in the lathe with the abrasive chop saw. Um, so we did a little bit of turning. We turned it down to size, and I wasn't involved in the the meat and potatoes part of it. Dad did all of the external and internal threading, but we just kind of started turning it. And this thing was so hard that the three jaw chuck on his lathe um, barely gripped it. He's got a 13 by 40 um, copy based on a Lux Mather uh, lathe and had to switch over to a four jaw chuck on the big metal lathe just to make things work right. So um, not a lot to say about it other than it turned out really well. Uh, we did the run out on it and it was within a few thousandths. Um, so worked really well. And then uh, find out you can go down to the big tool store and you can buy the same adapter. Um, this was one of our first passes. We didn't take very much off because this material was so hard. We only took about 10 thousandths at a time off and even that was kind of pushing it. As you can see, the chips were really, really blue in and uh, almost sparking at some time. one you shouldn't see too much material taken off. It was just a 5,000 spring pass just to clean up what we had just taken off and see how much the tool was taken up.
this uh, adapter to use and it screws on very well to the lathe and then the chuck screws on to the adapter and I'm really happy with it. Uh, haven't actually turned anything yet with it but we did the run out like I said and I chucked up this uh, piece that's going to be a tire billy for a truck driver a uh, friend of mine and um, pretty happy with the way it turned out and uh, no big deal. As always, thank you for joining us in Germs Workshop and remember every day you walk in with the shop with 10 fingers, especially working with a lathe or saw and walk out with 10 fingers. Thanks. So if you uh, like this video, please like, share, and subscribe and we'll see you next time.